All right. So in this example, um, what we have is 18 is 40% of what number? So anytime, ladies and gentlemen, we're dealing with percents, again, I'm just going to go back to my proportion. Part whole is equal to part percentage over 100%. All right. So if you guys can write down that ratio, Sierra, it will be very, very helpful because you will be doing problems like this on the next test. And this is, a, I mean, we're going to do some problems today, but that's really about it. So you're going to want to make sure you understand um, as far as how to write this proportion. Now let's go and write in the information that we have. We have, again, another percentage. So that we already know that 100% is already there. So then our part percentage has to be 40%, correct? Then it says 18 is 40% of what number? So is 18 going to be the part or the whole? It's going to be the part this time, OK, George? So now, I'll just use y. You can use whatever you want to. So now, y represents the whole number. And again, ladies and gentlemen, we can pretty much kind of multiply this, work at this really any way, any way that we want to. Um, I can have. Guys, I don't want to have to keep on waiting for this. All right, let's just write down the stuff and get it through. So obviously, 40 times y, um, this is going to be 40y percent. 18 times 100 percent is going to be 1,800 percent. Correct. Now, again, we need to solve for y. Okay. We need to, again, go ahead and solve for y. So what I'll do is I'll divide by 40%. Again, the percents are going to divide out. And now I'm left with how many times does 40 divide into 1,800? Go back around. So now what we need to work on is, again, our long division skills. Um, so when we do this, we say, all right, 40 does not go into 18, but how many times does 40 go into um, 180? And that would go into there four times. Four times that's going to be 160. Subtract 20. 40 does not bring a 20, so we bring down the next one, which is 200. Does 40 go into 200? Five times. Five times. Um, 400 is going to be 200. So therefore, y equals 45. And does that kind of look about the same? Is 40 to 100 about the same as 18 is to 4, 35, 45? Yeah, it works. Oh, yeah. 